Hello, and welcome to World of Warbirds. I'm Brian Pierce. Hello, Warbirders. Last night, Mrs. World of Warbirds and I saw the premiere of Devotion. Before I start this review, you need to know that before watching the film, I knew nothing about the story or the characters. I hadn't read the book on which the film is based, so beyond having watched uh, the trailer a couple of times, I had few expectations. My main hope was that I was going to see a few Corsairs and Bearcats in action, and that the filmmakers wouldn't significantly screw anything up. Well, my expectations were met and wildly exceeded. What kept going through my head the entire time was that this film had heart. Care and time was taken by the filmmakers to bring us into the squadron, have us meet and get to know all the members. The last time I felt like I actually cared this much about the supporting characters of a war production was Band of Brothers. This film does not heavily rely on those threadbare cliches that we're all tired of. The characters felt like real people with foibles and fears, and that made their heroic feats seem even more heroic. Speaking of cliche avoidance, I had known that the film was about either the first or one of the first African-American naval aviators. And so I thought that the story was going to be built around his struggle against institutional racism. And don't get me wrong, it's there. It has to be. But it's laid out in a slow reveal as his squadron mates and we get to know Ensign Jesse Brown and he opens up with his story. Again, in an avoidance of cliche, there isn't the overused portrayal of the struggle against a stock racist commander or squadron mate. There are bigoted people around, but the story isn't being driven by them. Frankly, this is more of a buddy movie as Jesse Brown and Tom Hudner get to know each other and become trusted squadron mates, wingmen, and friends. Okay, I originally wanted to see the movie for the Warbirds, and knowing my audience, I know you want to hear about them. So, I'm not a naval aviator, nor have I flown or worked on any of these planes or ships. There may be plenty of errors that the aficionados will pick out, but what I want to report is that this film has heart with the aircraft too. We get to know them during walk-arounds, and we feel the pilot's affection for their machines as if they were living things, with the shots of a hand running over the skin of a wing, and the squeaks and thumps of the controls and control surfaces being worked during a walk-around. But the planes aren't dealt with in a cliché manner either. Although there are beautiful flight scenes, these powerful and dangerous aircraft are portrayed with respect. When the Corsair is introduced, there is a period of excited fear as the pilots have to transition from their familiar bearcats to the more formidable bentwing birds with the reduced visibility over the nose and the huge, awesome, yaw-inducing engine. The flying sequences feel very real, and the filmmakers managed to capture the drama and the tension in what would be considered mundane in many flying films. But of course, in reality, is anything but mundane. When the guys are first landing their Corsairs on the carrier, you will be stressed. In many films, a crash landing sequence is a, a bit of a letdown, as if the action of the dogfight is all over and the crash landing is no big deal. Again, this film will put you in the cockpit as the fighter is gliding heavily for a small snowy clearing in an otherwise mountainous landscape, and your butt may be wiggling around in your seat nervously, feeling for the ground before you actually hit. Go see this movie. And you can take a date, too. It hits all the right notes. Mrs. World of Warbirds loved it. Also, for all the emotion and drama, and unlike the movies Pearl Harbor or Midway, I don't think you'll come out saying that there was 
too much or too little action or grinding your teeth over overly obvious inaccuracies. We think it was better than Maverick. Lastly, I have to thank our friend Anna Michetti for thinking of me and giving us the tickets that she had won. If this isn't obvious already, they were greatly appreciated. If you like hearing about all kinds of warbirds, please subscribe and let me know in the comments if you like the movie. See you next time.